Well, here I am, Leon C., a.k.a. Morpheus. And tonight in the Academy of Wow Men, I have a special guest for you. His name is Brian. Brian has been one of my uh, one of my very diligent listeners. And uh, he had several questions. Actually, he had several questions about my channel. And so I decided to go ahead and give him a a one on one consultation and conversation about some of the various subjects that I discuss and where we could um, we can iron this out. And so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, adjust the microphone so you can actually listen into the conversation that we're having. And uh, he's well aware that. <laughs> He is in the Academy of Wildman. He's well aware of my sloth principle. He know I don't set dodos over here. And betas get destroyed <laughs> before they even enter into the arena. So without further ado, I'm going to let you listen in. And maybe you can learn something from this man-to-man -man conversation. All right. Class is in session. All right, Brian. So I'm glad you decided to meet up with me, finally. Thanks for inviting me, Morpheus. All right. And I'm glad for you to be here. It's been a, it's been a long day. And uh, I'm glad to finally get a chance to answer your questions, as I have promised my viewers. So what would you like to talk about today? Well, first off, Morpheus, let's keep it real. We're men. So, as men, what's the number one subject we always talk about? Oh. Oh, uh-oh. Here we go. First subject. That's right. that's right. Let's talk about these women folk. Women. Oh, women. Yes, these women folk. Now, first off, Morpheus, what is your, uh, what is your idea of a woman? What is the perfect woman in your opinion? My perfect woman, in my opinion. Well, <clears throat> perfect woman will be my Valeria. Now, if you want to know details of that, there's an there's an audio on that that's, that's already been created. That I've, I've created about who your Valeria is. But to get in the details of Valeria, it was very dedicated, motivated. She's feminine. She's fit. She's cooperative. She provides me with a uh, a great support with my business and my life. She's an asset. She's not an anvil. She's a purpose. She's not something that's there to extract resources and extract my time and my peace and my labor. But she adds to the production that I already have in the making. And I know that's saying a lot. I know that's saying a lot because she really don't have a face. And she really doesn't have a uh, what you saw, any specifics but being feminine. And having the properties of being a dutiful, uh, you could say, already have the potential to be a wife and to be stable. Should we or should I decide to take it down the path of a monogamous relationship? Okay, that's very scholarlistic of you, Morpheus. Scholarlistic. So, well, let's keep it real. Man. Scholarlistic. Let's keep so it real. Uh, it's always real. Yeah, so what do you mean scholar, scholarlistic? I mean, you know, you I can't be, bring it down more easier here, than that. Yeah, you over here pulling out the five dollar words, talking about by Valeria, by Venerial. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's go, man. All right, I'm ready. All right, first off, my idea of a perfect woman, find one I could trust. Trust. Is okay. there a woman out there that I could trust? You know. Like, so let me. Okay, let me ask you a question then. Okay, fine. Let's, let me ask you a question. When I say she's my Valeria, she's dependable. She has a fortitude to support me in my business. How can that not obtain a sense of trust? She won't be there if I can't trust her, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, he's stumbling upon his own shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you got jokes. You got jokes. No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got jokes. <laughs> no, no, but really though, like, first off, dudes be dudes do keep uh, women around, even though they know fully they can't trust them because they trust them to know they trust them to be 
they trust them to act like them. It's like it's oh, so what? So what do you mean? So you're saying that oh, I'm not. I don't mean to cut you off. So you're saying that men keep women around even though they know that they can't trust her. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, just like women feel like they can't trust them. Really? Okay. So that's the definition of a beta. Because men, women that I keep around, you and that word, women man. that I keep around have nothing to do with the fact that. She's there and I got one eye open, one eye closed. See, this is why I don't get into a monogamous relationship because if she act up, she acts a she acts a damn fool, that door is ready to act up just as well as she is, and I grease the hinges. Where if her ass act like she ain't got no good sense, that door will easily open up. I'll go ahead and send her out of the door, her and her so called upside down Gucci bags and bad attitudes, and that door can easily close. Right behind her flat or bubble ass. I ain't got to deal with it. See, in Morpheus, I'd be easily able to do that if my women was named left and right. Okay? But my women are fully blood, are, are war-blooded, chocolate queens. Okay, okay? so, uh, okay, that's funny. Because check this out. And I'm not cutting you off again, but check this out. Fine. You gotta. You are the co-conspirator. You are the general source, and you are the boss of your army and yourself. So, whoever you recruit to be in your world in your life, you should never put yourself in a position where you are uncertain about their loyalty. You have to be certain about their loyalty by you being certain about your own standards. And if you're not certain about your own standards, then that means you're going to be making the bad decisions of who's going to be around your circle. And so, therefore, you should never have to worry, again, you should never have to worry about her being um, being uh, faithless, unloyal, not committed, and you can't trust her. The only person that you need to blame in that situation is yourself because you're uncertain about the decisions that you make. Yeah, see, I, I hear that. I do. But it's like, you talk about your standards. Let's keep it real. A lot of people are not following their standards. Sadly, a lot of people are following the trend. Ah, okay? right. Let's keep it real. Women, let's talk about women. Okay. Okay, women, it's all about being bad bees these days. Oh, you know, okay. What happened to want to be a queen these ah. days? They want to be bad bees these days. <laughs> but, you know, it's all about hot girl summer these hot days. Girls. Mm hmm. Okay. And then, and then, man, let's talk about the man, man. Oh, yeah. The man want to be the Keith Sweats now. Beta. You know. <laughs> there Beta. You go, there you go with that word, man. No, let's keep it real. Men want to cater now. They cater to women. You know, you know what the men are like nowadays? What are they like? <laughs> I, 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 I mean, now you, remember, you can't talk, not talk about all men. It's like you know, there's some men out there. They're very rare. Oh, I, I got men. something for you. I got something for you. I know this is gonna really catch your. This is gonna catch your fancy right here. You ready? Okay. The problem with most of the situations in relationships today. I don't point my finger generally at women and say that they are the cause of uh, the majority of the calamity. Okay. They are a reflection of the attitude, the standards, and the acceptance that men have created. They are only a result of men not standing in their square and acting as if they, I'll put it like this. Being what they are made to be, being a uh, a leader, being dependable, being a hard rock that she can stand on and being this this person that can guide her in the right direction and tell her the truth. Most men lie to women. Most men pander to women. Most men. Yeah. Jared Jackson. Jared Jackson. Most men try to puff women up and put them on a level that they don't deserve because all they want to do is donkey dunk with them. That's all they care about. So they're donkey willing to dunk. they're willing to put themselves in a like lower in a lower plateau in a lower plateau in order to get this woman's approval. And donkey dunk is what I usually use for the term sex. 
Okay. That is the that Sex is the is usual grown up word. That is the usual that's the usual conversation of this particular um this particular academy for the sake of YouTube and the sake of other listeners who may be sensitive to the subject of sex. You got it? Okay, look, well, uh -huh. you know, we're talking about the lateral Watusi. Alright. <laughs> Why are you over here talking about the lateral Watusi? Hold on there. Uh yeah, that's what I call it. That, that, that's my four row uh, of... Oh, I'm not going to doubt you yet. We just getting started. So, go ahead. All right. First of all, let's talk about that. Because it's like... Donkey, donkey? Yeah, I mean... Okay, so the, the thing is, men worship that. And they worship that to the point where they will donkey dunk with any level of woman. Whether she's ratchet, whether she's out of out of shape. Or whether she's uh, not doing the most for herself, or she's not doing enough for herself, or she's non-ambitious, or she might be a decent woman who's making uh, enough headway for herself in the current generation. So what that does is it confuses those particular women who are on the lower spectrum of performance to think that they can get any type of man that they want to. But what they don't understand is betas, blue pills... Uh, 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 soft men will pretty much donkey dunk on anything that's available to them. So if men were to uh, uh, increase their standards, act like they got some good sense and walk away from the uh, uh, of creating women to have uh, false accountability and uh, unrealistic expectations, then the society would change at least a little bit. And it would give those lower hanging fruit types of women the initiative to have some type of standards before she enter into a relationship because men have increased their standards. All right, look here, Mr. Farrakhan Morpheus. While you over here trying to sound like you God's gift to women, you know, with your vernacular and trying uh -huh, to yeah. try to talk about uh, uh, what proper proper levels. And uh, here like we go. Here right. we go. We we not go. We not go sit here and act like that. No, I'm it's a, tell, wait, wait a minute. We're, I, it's I, not. I, it's I, not I, that I, we're not. No, you can sit here look, however you want to. Look, I'm gonna sit here and speak, and I'm gonna speak the truth. So okay, you, well, you trying to put to we this. in it? All right, you want to talk about? Speak let's the let's truth. come from your perspective. Okay. So throw you me want, another answer. All right, you want to talk about speak the truth? Let's speak the truth. All right, I'm already you, ready for it. What was you that said, Casanova, that? One woman was not enough for you. Oh yeah, I'm ready for this. Okay. Then you say something about you not gotta enough. have three women. Not enough. Okay. Casanova. Uh, apparently, you don't look. Okay, let's let's get started. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm ready. Let's okay. Let me let me make it very simple to you. Talk about oh, when you go to the car lot. When women. you go to a car lot, and as as a matter of fact, you didn't look at the manual as well because apparently. Apparently, you don't listen to what I'm saying. Apparently, you don't pay attention to the lessons that are in the classroom. And what was my number one room, rule outside of the door? I said, no sloths allowed. And you are specifically acting like a sloth. Because I told you another thing as well is I do not like and I have a thing about people who don't listen and do not accept the programming that is based on giving you a clear understanding. So I have to use a different type of jargon or specifically English, I guess in your turn, alien language for people to understand without making things complicated. So here's the thing. So I'm going to break it down in, in kindergarten terms. <laughs> okay. So, uh, hold on. <laughs> okay. 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 So check this out. Come on, kindergarten. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. Okay, yeah, I'm sure. When you go to the car lot, you go to a car lot, right? Okay. And let's say they're going to sell you a car. Okay. And you have, this car is $70,000 on the lot. And you you go to the salesman and uh, you say, oh, I, I like that car over there. And the salesman say, oh, you like that one over there? You say, yes, I like the paint color. I, I like the way it, it's looking. I like the windows. I'm looking at the inside. Let me test drive it. And he said, oh, okay, sure, you can test drive the car. And you get in the car, you test drive it, and you realize it has the proper horses for you. It's, it goes around the corner the way you want to. It hugs. There's no, a lot of, no not a lot of heavy oversteer, good understeer. And then you bring it back to the car lot, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, well, you know what? I'm really going to get this car. I'm going to make this decision. I want this. He said, okay, sure. 
So he says, have a seat for a few minutes, right? And he's, he brings you back outside after the paperwork. And he says, here's your car. And he gives you the keys. And you notice something different. When you look at the car, it's missing its wheels. But it has its engine and it has the body frame. Hmm. You open up the car door. It has the seats. It has a tachometer. It has a dashboard. But it's missing its steering wheel. How would you feel? Just tell me how would you feel. First off, I'm a, if I noticed that a car had no steering wheel, no tires, why would I even go up to the car if I, if I noticed No, that? no, 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 no. You didn't see. Did I tell you something? I don't, you don't pay attention. What did I say? No. I said you already test driven the car and you seen its, its potential. You liked it. How can you test drive a car with no wheels though, sir? You test driven the car already. And he had you sit down after you decided that you wanted the car. So you're sitting in a waiting room right now. They're getting the car prepared and ready for you to drive it off the lot. Okay. Usually that's what happens. They'll park the car up in the front. You know, they have a, somebody standing out there. So I'm assuming, you don't know what's going on. So I'm assuming the car was good. The car was the, the car was good when you test drove it. Right. Okay. And then you go out there and you realize there's missing wheels and you, the steering wheel is gone. He said, this is what you purchase. This is what you test driven. How would you feel? No, uh, you got me messed up. You got me messed up, right? Okay, so don't, here's don't, the don't piss on my leg and tell me it's rain. Okay, so here's the thing. Society have in movies, Disney movies, your churches, uh, some of your uh, old parents who isn't so uh, caught up to the day told us that hey, don't worry about it. Be a nice guy to women. You know, just just provide for them. Work yourself to the bone. Do what they want you to do. Be a decent guy. Work every day. Open up the door for her. Be chivalrous for her. If she's if she's not feeling good, make her feel better. So in this, you're having a hopeful perspective, almost like this car that's that's well together, got the wheels and have everything. And you're hoping to. You're like, okay, I can do this thing. I can be the provider. You understand? And I can I can protect this woman. I can take care of her. But then when you wake up. When you actually get into the real thing, you're like, okay, I'm ready to do this thing real time. Mm -hmm. And you engage with this girl. You, I mean, you, you're already in a relationship with her. And you begin to realize this. Like, wait a minute. She's not really doing the things that I thought that she were supposed to do, basically. Or that she can do. Cook, clean, got talent, ambitious enough to take care of you and your business are able to uh, make your bath water before you get home. Take care of all your needs as a man, basically, as you will ultimately take care of her because if you win, she's going to win. So what you end up finding is, generally, is this one woman on a general basis, basically the common American woman, who is not fully equipped for a, first of all, long-term relationship, She's not fully equipped to understand you as a man. She's not fully equipped to do everything, or should I say most of everything, that a traditional woman used to do or know how to do for a man. So you end up with half a woman. You end up with partial of what you should have or what grandma used to be a couple of years ago. So you'll find yourself with somebody who may know how to cook, but she can't do anything else. Mm hmm or you may find somebody who knows how to donkey dunk. She can do the German Shepherd all day long, but she don't know how to cook or she don't know how to help you out with your paperwork or licking envelopes and them like that. She'll tell you to do it yourself. Or here's the worst. Here we go. A woman who has a PhD, she got her own career. She's out there so-called getting the bag and she's a bad B. What she will ultimately say is that, well, I'm too busy. I'm out here working just like you are. So why should I have to, Cardi B, cook and clean for you? Why should I have to do those things? Why can't you do that for me? So now we come up with this equal role playing type of thing. So what's going to ultimately happen? You're going to break. So what you end up, basically is this. You end up getting a car that's not fully equipped as, what's, as what was uh, supposed to be. And what you thought it would be. Because most men are like, yeah, I want to be in a relationship. I want to get married. They don't realize the truth behind marriage or the relationship till after they get into it. Does that make sense? After they actually brought it. And now they're stuck mm -hmm. in this marriage. 
and and you and the trick is about women they will gradually begin to show you that they have these things that are missing later on in the relationship like further on down the road or eventually she'll stop doing what she used to do taking care of your manhood mm -hmm. so the thing is it's not about being a mandinga it's not about being this guy who said well i want to have several women at one time no it's about protecting myself Mm -hmm. and accepting the situation for what it is. Mm -hmm. If there was a shangri -La, if there was a Valeria, if there was a such thing as a woman who is prepared and ready for the tasks and the roles that are needed for a long-term relationship, that might be a different story, but she's one out of a million today. With every woman having an Instagram and a Facebook, she want to sell herself, she want to do all kinds of things, a DM, she want to be sneaky and conniving. Okay, so the door is always prepared for her to leave. As soon as she leaves the door, another woman's going to be there. To replace her. Hmm. Okay. So basically, uh, going back to what you said, talk about being safe. Okay, so it, it makes you feel safe uh, Sa having three. Yeah. Well, three uh, different women let, for three different things. Well, right? let me. Well, no, let me answer quick because I know people are confused about that part. This is what I mean by safe. I don't stand by being monogamous because there's nothing to be monogamous for. <laughs> okay, that's that's one thing. Okay, because of the way that women are today. Okay, so the trick is about this is this. All right, I'm gonna break it down for you like this. School's in session, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's make it very simple. Men aren't truly made to be monogamous. Mm -hmm. That is a westernized thing. And by nature, you're not. Yeah. And as a man, I know my advantages I know uh, my desires and my options, and I know my availability to the world and to myself. So I have a thing about not limiting myself. And at the same time, if I'm going to go out there and look for or have or be, uh, what do you call that, pursued of new skin, mm -hmm. of new donkey duck material, it's a risk. It's a problem. I don't know what this girl's going to do. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she's, what she's carrying. Yes, we can get her checked. Okay. Yes, there is contraceptive. There's, there's, uh, you know, there's wearing my raincoat and all this type of thing. Uh -huh. That's too much of a risk. We call him Jimmy Hassan. And from. well, yeah, but that that's too much of a an issue. And yes, I could go that route if I wanted a new skin all the time. But in this particular time and generation, it's not worth it. It's too much time. It's too much suffering. It's too much of my energy invested in trying to pursue or make this happen in a time where women have too much uh what do you call that sexual independence they have too much well if i can do it you can do it too i mean if you can do it i can do it too mm -hmm. so at the same time so to avoid all the hassle and the unnecessary strain and stress especially according to the modern day generation today i'd rather keep it at home Mm. All right. I'd rather keep it at home, keep it honest. And I tell my women all the time, I'm not going to be monogamous. Okay. Act like you got some sense, got some sense, get, uh, act like you got some, some sense, get bent or get bent out or get out. Okay. It's as simple as that. Cause I'm not going to play on their field. I'm not going to play the merry go round with them as they really usually want men to play on. Cause I'm not a beta. Okay. So it's either going to be my standards or it's going to be nothing at all. But yet there is a compromise called understanding what she's thinking, understand her desires, understand the things that she wants. But it is mostly based on safety because it's not safe no more. And if you are any man and you got any type of dangling marbles between your legs, it's best to be the leader of that which you survey and don't let it be lofty out there. Because here's the fact. Most people are not monogamous today any old damn way. Yeah. No, they're not monogamous. Marriages, there are there is side chicks in marriages. Yeah. People are dating in a one single relationship and they're with somebody on the side at the same damn time. So I'd rather I'd rather put a cap on it than to allow it dangling in the wind where it can be compromisable or compromise me, my peace, my establishment, and my future. Yeah, you talk about put a cap on, put a cap on that whole explanation, man. Because you over here, first off, you try, like I said, try to be all extra descriptive and all this crazy stuff. Look, I don't even have to be extra descriptive, but look, there's some holes. Ladies and here. gentlemen, here we go. A, a guy with cognitive dissonance. Yeah. 
and it sounds like he don't want to accept the fact that okay so you want your woman to go out there and sleep with any type of guy behind your back you know nothing about it so you don't want to put a cap on it so you basically want to have one woman if that's the route you want to go or if you do not want to be monogamous you got several women so you rather cheat behind the back of the woman that you with and uh, when you out of town you don't mind her being smashed by some other guy who could possibly give her stds and mouth herpes Okay, so you think that woman's going to be less likely to cheat if you got three of them? I mean, two extra ones? It depends on what type of caliber of a woman that you're dealing with. And especially if you are a high-quality or a high-value man, women will line up. Man, miss me. And it's not even... See, you don't you don't pay attention then. That, that means you don't do your research. You should have did your research before you came on to this I've done my channel. research. My research says we're talking about women. That's my research. All right, first off, let's talk about cars. You talk about cars and stuff, okay? Let's use cars, because you like to talk about cars. You like to talk about women. You want to know something? Women do it anyway. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Well, come on, come at me. Come on, you yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, let me you bad. Get, okay, no, let me let's get on. You. Let's get on with it. Let's okay. get on with it. You okay, no, 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 hold on. Let's get on with Wait, it, because oh, let me... So, Morpheus, that, what, you've been talking this whole time. Let me talk, sir. I'm getting uh, over. It's, it's my turn I'm, to talk. But I'm going I'm to start off with a question, though. You're going to start with a question. That's going to open it up. So, what... Do Okay, you, you asked me about my preference. My preference is based on safety. Yeah. What is your preference based on then? Do you have a better plan to mine? When I tell you, okay, I'd rather have a whole car than half a car... And I already explained to you, there are women who have half talent. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to cook and clean. They, they're on their PhD BS. Okay, it's all about them, not about you. And you know all they're worth is this donkey dunking. They go on about your way. So you want to stand there, a man is going to constantly hunt down or uh, 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 deal with new skin that could possibly be something that could compromise you or what? So I'm going to give you the floor on this one. Okay, because the thing is, man, let, let, let's talk about this. Let's you get talk, ready to rumble. About, Come on. We're talking about safety. Okay. And talk about, first off, you talk about cars. Let's talk about cars, okay? Let's talk so about it. You talk about, first off, if you have one car versus three cars, uh -huh. the thing is, one car is going to break down. All cars break down at some point, right? And what happens when a car breaks down? A man has to pay for it. Because it broke down, right? Okay, so you have one car, it broke down on you, you got to pay for that car. Versus three cars, they break down on you, you got to pay for those three cars. Which one is going to hurt you worse? Paying for that one car or paying for those three cars breaking down on you? All right? You, then you're talking about lines. I'm talking about you say for, say for three to one. Okay, so if you're in a lion's den with one lion this versus a lion's den with three lionesses, it's more safe to be in that lion's den with three lionesses. That's basically what you said with your okay, uh, you your knowledge. You sir. ready? You ready for no, me? No, man? I'm not done. I'm not, I got to finish my rebuttal. Okay, I'm, a, I'm just I'm All right. just trying to say it's you about, ready for me to answer. You talk about safety and survival. You're more safe with one than three. Okay. All right, because you're really going to pay for it with okay. three. All right, okay. women like attention, sir. Okay. All right? So, if you only got one woman, it's easier for you to get that one woman the attention she's looking for versus three women. You ready? You're giving them the attention okay. that they want? No, because you're going to give the attention to one, and then the other two going to be like, okay, where's my time at? Then next thing you know, you try to get them time, and now the next thing you know, the one you're, that you give attention to, she's the one she's going to be neglected. You're throwing, a, you're throwing a lot out there. So, before you throw some more out there, because I have to answer these questions one at a time. So we're going to do that. So class is in session, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's begin. Lesson number one. All right. You're driving on the highway. One car breaks down. <clears throat> I know that you have an insurance program. You might have AAA. You might have a rental program that they're going to give you a rental car. But if that car is done, okay, you're going to be swapped out for another car. Now, here's the thing. Switching that over to a physical, organic woman. Okay. Remember where you are. Number one, remember where you are. When I always say that, like the dot on the map, remember where you are. Look at the time in the past versus today. Look at the value that it used to be versus today. Number one, know who you are. Know your nature. As a man, you should know what you are capable of sexually of what you are willing to not only that but 
Know what you're willing to tolerate, what you're not going to tolerate. Women respect men who have a standard. Women respect men who tell them the truth up front. Women respect men who is confident and who stands on his ground. And not only that, we're dealing with a different caliber of men. I am not a low value man. I'm not a man who's just a regular Joe. I'm not a, I'm not a beta. I'm not a blue pill, this, this soft hat type of individual type of guy. I'm a guy who have my ducks in order and I got some good damn sense. So women aren't going to pay attention to scrubs. Women going to pay attention to guys who got their stuff in check. And let's keep going forward. Dealing with the caliber type of man as well. Now you're talking about how much of it. Now I'm going jumping here, but I'm going to get back to this particular subject. But here's the thing. It depends, again, what type of women you're dealing with and what type of men you are as well that can work out in that situation or not as well. Because what I say, what I say again, they're already doing it. That's the number one fact. Women are already talking to one guy and she has another guy in her DMs or somewhere else. The same as some men might be doing, but it's different for a man to do that from a woman. So there isn't really any true monogamous, but that's going to be a rare occasion. Now, getting back to this one car that's stuck on the highway today. Again, where are you? 2021s or the 2020s. I say the 2020s. You're at a time where you don't know what you're going to get. You got women today who have already been out there. They already got themselves ran over by several trains. Okay. They already have been around uh, uh you know miami beach they already have their instagram stuff going on men have already chased them down by the time they're 32 30 some years old and they already got like two kids okay you don't know what you're going to get when you buy a new car here's a trick what are you going to be getting if that one car breaks down if you don't have if you're not a high value man or you're not a high quality man or if your life is not in check and you ain't got your ducks in order you're not confident you're beta you weak, you don't know how to talk to women, you don't even know what you want out of life, and then you're going to say, well, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and, it's like this, I'm going to go ahead and get married again, this first marriage broke down and messed up, so I'm going to get married again, you're going to get fleeced again, <laughs> That's, you're going to be in a <clears throat> lockdown situation again, and you're going to meet another woman who's going to do the same damn thing as the first one did, because what did you purchase? You purchased something that you can afford, that's the thing. You per oh my goodness. Ah, check this out. No, I'm not done yet. You check this person that you can afford. So you end up buying another, listen, used, wore down car that you're going to need to have another extensive type of, uh, what do you call that? So insurance on this thing to prevent it from breaking down. So you jump from one boat to the next boat to the next boat to the next boat and you're going to always be damn broke. You understand what I'm saying? So here you go with this one car that, okay, let's say that that is one car out of three cars you have. That's a Jay Leno type of thing. Okay, you ready? Jay Leno, for example, you think too hot. Yeah, he can fix his car. He can get somebody to go and get it. But you think he's really going to cry if a car breaks down on the highway? He's going to be like, well, you know, we're, we're just going to go and get this car. And uh, um, I got like uh, a million cars in the garage already. That's a scratch in the bucket. He's going to laugh at that boy. He's going to be like, what the, what? I'm going to cry about this. So all he's going to do is get somebody to go get his other car. They'll bring that car to him. Done deal. You, on the other hand, not you specifically, but that one guy who wants to be monogamous, once that car breaks down, he got to start all over again with something that is uncertain. And here's the thing. What I tell you, if you get another relationship with another girl based on today's modern women, you are getting something that's already used up by somebody else, something that's already been around town, something that's already been ran over by all kind of uh, Tommy's Joe's and Tyrone's. And then you get this girl and you want a long term relationship. No, you're going to break down again in the future. A smart man who protects himself is not going to be monogamous and he's going to keep those options and doors open. So I know I'm going to keep my options and my doors open, but instead of being open where it's going to hurt me, I'd rather be open to three or four or five, most likely it's going to be the minimum three, something like that, who is honest enough to know exactly what's going on, where exactly where I know where home is. They know where I am. Things are going to be working out quite well instead of putting myself in that jeopardized situation. And it's still not going to be this point where like, oh, you know, this is the end all be all sort of situation. So why are you sitting there with this one person? Who you're going to break up with and then you're going to end up with another woman 
after that or another marriage get yourself fleeced get yourself in some type of divorce rob situation where you're in the court <sighs> stuck on yourself with two kids okay mm -hmm. i'm gonna keep putting down the road somewhere to success while you're failing how about that now, wake me up when he's done, wake me up when he's done. so next question yeah uh, cause next sir, you, you are bugging I, 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 you really are bugging, sir. Because let, let's let's keep it real. You didn't tell me about yourself. I'm I'm waiting for you to tell. Okay, so if I'm bugging, yeah, you're. Bu I'll tell you. No, no, no. Now. If I'm if no, I'm finish, if finish. I'm bugging, I'm waiting for you to explain to me what it is not to bug. How would this situation be any different? How, mean, what is look, your description of this? The thing is, man, you talking about look. As far as the idea of having three women together, you're definitely not talking about my sisters, my chocolate sisters, man. I, you know, all right. You, you, oh, here we go. Queens, Let's man. get it ready to rumble. You know what I'm saying? My chocolate women are queens. You're not going to have three chocolate women. Okay, let's wait for a second, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to cut you cut you through. Wait a minute. Slow down. Wait, let's stop right there. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to hear what he just said. Um, Look, man. Wait, 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 wait. All the people who are listening right now, first of all, I want to say this. Okay. So you're calling brown skinned women your queens. How are. No, no, no. How are they your queens when. Uh, the black. Uh, I don't even know. I'm stumbling over this because it is a very big thing. Are you married to one right now? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, okay. Not. So, what have they done for you lately? I've always look. First off, it doesn't have to be someone that you're in a relationship with, as far as girlfriend. Why would you concerned. call? Would you if I did not go out there and make myself a high value or high quality or a decent man or Okay, let, let, I don't want to make this complicated. If we're running a marathon and I never cross the checker flag, why the hell would you call me a winner? So here we go. It don't matter whether she's black, white, Mexican, or turquoise. Why would you call any woman a queen who did not earn that sort of not only reputation, but earn that sort of trophy from you specifically. That sounds like beta. No, sounds like some. Oh. Sounds like somebody else needs to have a class session. I'm waiting. Okay, because you're talking about how does that make her a queen? How does it make me a winner if I didn't cross the checker flag? Well, first of all, who determines what the checker flag is? That that doesn't ask the question. No, no. I'm going to answer your question. Okay. Oh, oh, I like that. Question. You do. So where's your checker flag? Look, I'm with you. Look, first off, man, as far as crossing someone's checker flag, if anything, you're talking, um, you're talking about a different racist checker flag, all right? Because the thing about us, right? Uh, okay. The thing about uh, the thing about my black women, my black men, let's let's keep it real, black folk, okay? Go back in history, all right. Let's go back in history. Let's go back to the fact that Egypt, where you had kings and queens, and what were they? They were black, okay. Black folk were kings and queens back in the day. We got okay. We've lost our way over time because we were enslaved, okay. We were brought over here to try to cross someone else's checker flag. Okay? I'm listening. I'm waiting. But like I said, black men were kings. That makes our sisters queens. Okay? we are, that, It's in us. Okay. It's, that royalty it's, it's, is in Okay, us. it's in you. I'm, I'm not cutting you off. I just have to do this just for the sake of my uh, viewers here. Okay? So here's the thing. I got a saying, and I need you to listen to this carefully, and it's it's not to win over this debate. It's to get an understanding because we're having a conversation here. Mm -hmm. This is my rule number one. If you're not, then you never was. Think about that for a second. Take your time and think. If you're not, 
right now, you never was. When you have royalty in your blood, if you are somewhat of a descendant of God himself, itself, if you are of greatness, then you are going to be of greatness, regardless of how kicked down you are, how distorted you are. Yeah, there's going to be some people who say, well, you know, we still got some great things going on and we still have, you know, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. The black community is the most divorced. The black community is the most separated. The black community has the highest rate of single mothers, my friend, Brian. The black community has a struggle, especially when it comes to the college situation, because white women and other women of other races, when they go to college, they go to college not only to get a career or to get some type of degree, they go to college to find a husband. Mind you, when a black woman goes to college, she goes to college to prove to black men that she don't need them. That's statistically, that's by facts and the fact that you're standing here and don't have a ring on your finger and you don't have a black girlfriend, but yet you're calling her your queen, states that specific fact, but yet you can walk in any grocery store or go around your town and see other cultures of other races doing what they normally used to do so many years ago. That's not dousing black women. It's not kicking them down. I'm just telling you statistically the fact. I'm not going to give anybody prize, gifts, and trophies that they haven't earned. And when I, you said who's the who's the one that's supposed to make the checker flag, it's not up to it's not up to a universal thing. It's up to you individually. When you ask me about these you know these three girls and protecting myself and all type of thing, I'm putting out there a checker flag and a standard. When you put out a checker flag and a standard, it's up to the woman if she wants to meet that or not. See, I don't. The thing is, I don't care about not. I don't care about not being in that type of relationship. I don't care about even, you know, having that type of circle of women there. I'm just saying it's a standard. It's a possibility. And it's there. Should I be interested in going down that path? It doesn't matter what type of caliber of girl that she is. I'm understanding the way that the world is working today. So it's mainly by my protection and it's based on knowing myself as a male who will not and are not interested in a single in a monogamous relationship and not willing to limit myself down to a woman who can eventually break down because of her past life or because of her just oh, you got to know this women look for a retirement plan after a certain while the older she is she's looking for a retirement plan okay she's already been out there whatever you're trying to do if you take her out there to tgi fridays or or uh, the journeys or somewhere she's been out there before with several men so when you try to come around and you try to do that, but she be like, please, scrub, I, I've been there before. Somebody mm -hmm. already proposed to me before. Somebody already did this to me before. I already had this type of experience experience on a, a cruise ship before. So you think you're doing something new. She ain't going to tell you. She's not going to tell you the 100% truth, but her friends will know that. But she's not going to tell you that she's been there and done that already. So therefore, you're already getting something used. And you got to realize Brian, that you are the prize. You are the thing that she should be, uh, 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 that she should appreciate, be appreciative of being with or around. But the thing is, women don't get to that point because they realize the men that they're around are scrubs. The men that they come in contact with are betas. These men don't have standards. So when you don't have standards, you don't give them a checker flag or a goal to reach, then they're not going to see the goal to reach. They're going to do whatever they want to do. And then I know what you was getting ready to say before. They're going to become ratchet. They're going to become a problem. You're going to be like, what the hell you think you're doing with three women that's going to be the line because they're going to kick your ass. No, you're talking about a man who have no standards because there's always a door. There's always a door. If you tell a woman the truth, that, look, I can't be monogamous. Hey, Brandy's over here uh, um, in, in Miami and so-and-so is over there in California. Deal with it. You know, this, this, this is what I do. And if she's like, okay, baby, you know, I'll deal with it, whatever, blah, 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 blah. She will only do that because of your caliber, not her caliber. Women need something to look towards. I didn't say look above or that men are better than. No, a man who knows his worth, a man who knows his standards. See, a lot of women, American modern women, they may not agree with, oh, man, he's a, he's a misogamist. Oh, he just want to be this so kind of pimp. Oh, he just want to have all, it have nothing to do with that. But a woman who's open-minded, who understands, who, who knows my value, who know that I have a standard and it's it's based on me having a, uh, 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 well, again, putting that checker flag out there and having a potential that most men don't have. It's respectable. 
unlike men who don't have anything to offer her, men who cannot provide for her, men who are weak in that situation. Now understand, when the car breaks down, it's going to cost money. Being with a woman costs money. But once again, that has a lot to do with your standards and the caliber of man that you are. Because when you are a rich man and you got things going for you, you're going to be a bigger target and you got to be careful as how you peruse around these women because, yeah, they're going to come around and be like, sure, OK, I'll be girlfriend number four. OK, but they realize it's because of your potential and what you can provide for. But then again, who's the boss? Who's the one that's there? Who's the one in the middle? You are going to be the one responsible of how you deal with the situation. But the reality of it is, is too many soft, pantsy, ridiculous, sensitive, mommy raised, milk drinking Pansy, ridiculous as men today. Well, you know what? Uh, I do like my milk. Uh, <laughs> I do like my milk. But you know what? I, don't, I like it almost as much as I like this uh, first aid here. This focus aid, I tell you, tastes just like tell God's him, uh, sweat tell, in a can. Tell them about that focus aid. Tell them about the focus aid. Oh, yeah. It tastes like God's sweat in a can. I'm you, <laughs> uh, this stuff here. Like, I'm over here. I was dog tired. I'm drinking this stuff here. I feel like I had a good night's sleep. What What's what's in that uh What's in that uh, Fresh Aid? Or what's what's that called again? Yeah, yeah. Focus Aid. Focus, Focus Aid. Aid. Okay. Yeah, over here with... Uh, we got like only 7 grams of total sugar. Got 200 milligrams of vitamin C. Oh, yeah. You got the vitamin D3, thiamine, fibro, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, biotin. Uh, I don't even know this word here, but something <laughs> acid. 10 milligrams. No, tell, tell them who hooked you up with that. Uh, this 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 goofy dude named Morpheus. Yeah, I see. He's a hater. <laughs> Y'all, he's trying to hate because he can't be like me. I understand. Yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. That's that's a high standard. No, no. You y'all notice y'all notice. Listen, wait, y'all notice that he have not said whatsoever. So basically, he attacked me. I'm just gonna use the word attack. I usually don't use it, but just for you to understand. First of all, he's gonna try to come at me with, "Oh, you, you know, this Greek girls, and what makes you think you're gonna be with them? And they're lions, and you know, you, you, this guy over here, and he's waving his hands at me." But yet, he never said his idea of being safe or dealing with a monogamous or what his idea of dealing with the woman would be versus my own so because i'm waiting for him it takes two people to have a conversation when one is over here dominating the oh, conversation not allowing that person to have oh so know. he's worrying about my alpha energy but you noticed that i was quiet to give him let's give him the floor ladies and gentlemen come on let's go ahead and give him the floor so he can get his chance okay I mean, Come on. And you you try to laugh, but let's keep it real. First off, the stuff that you're talking about, it's really not realistic. That's what about why, what? Right uh, now, no, no, no. Oh, here we go. Finish. Goal. You don't have a. You said you uh, here, let, attack let, number two. Let me finish. Attack number two. Okay, listen. Let me finish. You said unrealistic to who? See, that's the thing. I asked you yours. I didn't say mine. You said this is unrealistic. Again, you're beating around the bush. You're 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 too busy trying to focus on my standard. My standards are real. We're talking about yours. I'm giving you a reflection of what I would do. I can care less if they want to line up to it or not, because guess what? The moment a woman signs up and she's like, I don't want to do it. You know what? I'm going to say, get the hell out. Because as soon as you walk away, Brandy's going to be walking in or Sarah. And as soon as they want to act like a fool, I'm going to have somebody else there. So I'm not worried about it. I just want to keep it safe. But you, on the other hand, you busy worried about me. You, you too busy dealing with are looking at my standards, but I'm waiting for you to worry about your standards. See, that's the thing about some men, not you. Nah, you ain't ready for that. Anyhow, well, <laughs> not you. But no, here's the thing. Most men need to support men. When I have a goal and I have an idea about something, you should be like, you know what? That's a good idea. You know what, brother? If that's what you want to, you know, I'm behind you. That may work out for you. If it don't work out for you, just have a plan B. Okay. But I'm asking you, okay, what about you? You too busy worrying about me over here in my river instead of making up your kingdom. So if a woman was to walk in here today, guess what? I'll be walking out with her. She's going to look at you like you a scrub with no standards because I've been asking you the whole night. What is your idea of dealing with a woman in the modern day today? I'm telling you my idea, but what about your idea? 
For me, it's possible. For you, it may be impossible because you're a different breed of a man. Uh, yeah, you're right. I am a different breed of a man. I'm a realistic one. Okay? And the thing is, realistically, I don't want a woman, I think, that, oh. that would want to be one, girlfriend number three and four. I'd rather have a woman that feels that she deserves to be number one. Okay? Because a woman that is okay Slow down. with being Ooh, number three or I number love that. four. Thank you. I love that. You said it. I mean, no, no, no. A woman I, that agrees. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to. I don't. Four. I don't want to lose my. I don't want to lose my viewers. You said something. I'm giving you the floor. I'm not cutting you off. Defi yet, define deserve. Define deserve, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> define deserve. Stop right there. Just because when I talk, you notice when I'm speaking, I go for word to word and try to get give people an understanding of yourself. You just talk and throw stuff out there. Words mean something. So you, first of all, you call black. Oh, this is my queens. You threw something out there and didn't give it any context or reason. You say like, oh, this person's a boss. Okay, what's the reason? Or this is the best man in the world. Okay, what's the reason for him to be? So here again, you're saying she deserves to be. How can she deserve to be if you don't give her a standard? I made a checker flag for my woman. You didn't give her a checker flag. I said feminine, fit, cooperative, supportive can help him with my business, and she's an asset to my future. That's a that's a checker flag and a standard. You're just saying, oh, a woman who deserves to be, how can she deserve to be if you're not giving her a goal to reach? So what's, what's this deserve? Define it, and I'm trying to shut up, but I have to slow down for them to understand you. I'm not blocking you. I just want them to understand what you're saying. Okay, first, so, deserve. Um, the thing is, like I said, I want a woman who feels that she should be number one. Okay, I want a woman that has pride in herself. Okay. Okay, because you know, a woman that's willing I, I'm to be sorry, number three. I'm sorry, you're gonna hate me for this, but I have to. It's another word. See, in the in the academy, we teach. How you use words and I, I know that they're trying to understand your where you're coming from but I have to keep people from being confused because words is a dangerous thing you threw another word out there feel stop right there her feel like I feel like the problem with a lot of women today again they always operate in the feeling Brian women will always say I feel like I do de I deserve I feel like he should I feel like that over here in this channel, we don't give a damn about nobody's goddamn feelings. You understand? We don't operate in feelings over here. We operate in facts. So I don't give a I don't give a dog crap or an elephant's neck. Okay, how she feels about a situation. It's if she deserves it. It's if she knows it by her activities, not her feelings. Everybody can feel like they want to do something or they feel like I am the best person in the world, but they got to be that, not feel that. So I'm sorry to cut you off, but I have to get these words out of the vocabulary because that's what's messing people up. So you said one, you said deserve. And now you say in feeling those are, that's a sentence. That's a woman's conversation there. That's the difference between alpha and beta. Alpha is not about feelings. Alpha is not about caring about what a person thinks think they deserve it's about what you do deserve and it's not about feelings it's about what is okay, so let's talk about what is right now what is is it sounds like <laughs> you is <laughs> kind of hypocritical all right i can accept that you're talking about on one end you said you should respect a woman and how she feels how she thinks and you know what I'm saying? Yes. And here I am talking yes. about a woman feeling like she deserves to be a queen. And it sounds like you don't have respect yes. for the fact that she feels she deserves to be a queen. But at the same time, you talk about you, so you, is that, you respect her feelings and her thoughts. I agree with that. Is, so, that a, is that a question? Do you want me to explain it or you don't want me to? I mean, you can explain it if you want. I mean, you want I'm me to? Say, it's no, I mean, I'm asking you because I don't want you to feel like I'm interjecting. So is it okay you want me to answer? I mean, I'll make it short for you then. Okay, go ahead. you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Here we go. All right. 
when she is, wait, how about this? I have a standard to meet. Feminine, fit, cooperative, kind, supportive. She's an asset in my world. The coffee is ready when I get home. The bath water is ready. She gave me something that I forgot about a long time ago. She brought me a tie that I always wanted and I thought, did, forgot about it. I was hungry one day and I was going to stop to get some food before going home. And she called me up and said, baby, I got some food ready for you. She knows my favorite coffee brand and I was going to go to the store and get it. She already had prepared for me already. I needed to go pick up my paperwork from the office. She called me on the way home and said, hey, baby, I'm getting ready to pass the office. Do you need me to pick up something for you? Saved my ass. She deserves what I have. Here's the thing what I mean by this. I can say after that point, this woman is an asset. She deserves for me to say, okay, she's, it, she is important in my life. She's reaching that checkered flag. So at this particular point, she's doing something to support my life. So I am in return going to give it right back to her because she is going to have feelings. She's going to have her desires. She's going to have her goals as well. It's going to be met because she's meeting my goals. You know what I'm saying? She's working towards something that she expects me to work towards as well. If a robber comes to the house, she expects me to beat his ass. And I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. If somebody tries to attack us, she expects me to attack. She expects me to pr protect. She expects me to provide. She expects for me to be this financially stable guy. So she is expecting these things. And you hear a lot of women today always say men are supposed to do this. Men are supposed to do that. But the moment a man say what a woman's supposed to do, it sounds like this. So therefore, therefore, you got to give them a goalpost. And I generally give them a goalpost. You give them women all sorts of she's my queen. She's she's capable. She she's my queen. I care about how she feels. I, I respect her for this snap, but she haven't earned it. The same as men who don't go to the gym. They don't take care of themselves. They literally at home a bum. They're not trying to do anything. And he expect for some supermodel to come and pick him up and say, oh, baby, you're sexy. No, he don't deserve her. She's not going to be interested in him because he is realistically a scrub. So she's not going to sit there and say, oh, he's a king. And he's living in his mom and dad's basement, smoking on cigarettes and, you know, smell like soot. She's not going to say that. But men on the often, maybe not you, but if you feel that way, you know, I don't give a damn. You know, betas, they give women the prize before they're willing to earn it. So everybody off the gate is going to be respected. Women are always going to be respected regardless. I'm not going to dog them out. This is not a misogamous channel. This is not about uh, dragging women through the dirt. It's about making them accountable for their actions. See, high value men. Here's the difference between a, this is the difference between a high value man and a regular Joe. Mm -hmm. High value men, women have to walk upstairs to get to. They're not going to go down there and say, yeah, hey, you, you, you're worth being up here. No, because she can compromise his establishment. You go out there and get some street hood, thug ass female, and you bring her to your office and you are the head of a Fortune 500 company and you give her the seat, she's going to ruin every damn thing and ruin your reputation at the same time because you just gave it to her. So you rather for a woman to walk up the stairs and earn it every step of the way by going through the protocols, by going through the standards, going through all the measurements that you put before her, which considers you to be a high value or a high quality male or a male with standards. Basically, most men don't have standards The I won't say 90 percent of them, 70 percent of men really don't have standards. They really don't have a guideline or a guidepost or the checker flag for women to cross. So because they don't. Women will do whatever the hell they want to or whatever they can get away with because the men aren't stepping up to the plate that women are expecting for them to do. So what ends up happening is the women end up being more successful than them. The women end up being the alphas in the home. There's no such thing as an alpha female, but she just feel like she is. Women end up dominating men because men aren't men. They become the passive little girls. So therefore, she has to earn the right to be. Nobody's going to get up to the top without earning it. She got to fight for it. 
Just the same as you got to fight to be successful and to do the things that you need to do as a man in the world. It's not going to be given to you. You got to fight for it. You got to make it happen. And women can see men who are ambitious and own his square. And she can also smell and detect blue pill betas who are soft and got their mama's panties on. Next question. Okay, so here's my thing with you, man. So with me, yeah. Here's my thing with you. Why can't it be with just the conversation or the statistics? Yeah, we talk about the conversation. Why does it got to be me personal? Because yeah, you said it. I'm going off of things you said. So basically, a woman that is. I mean, you may not say too much about it. Let's keep it real. You you don't really like sisters. So, you like, I'm, I'm assuming you like the Caucasian persuasion. And it's like, okay, so basically... Caucasian woman, persuasion. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah, Caucasian persuasion. So, basically, what you're saying is a woman who's old and black and not down with a threesome is completely the end of the line with you. You know, a lot of people are going to laugh at you because they, they're going to, they they know that that's not what I said. That's practically what you said. Are you saying for another one? Here's the thing. We can do a distinctful. I can, I'll come back at you with a clearer understanding because I, I accept a little recourse there. And you're, you're in somewhat strange interpretation of what I said, okay? Because it wasn't a black and white thing. And uh, I didn't say, oh, but here's the trick. Now, I did make an, an audio on that one in specifics, but let me break it down here right now, mm. okay? When it comes to uh, colorism or what type of origin this woman is, and you said I must be talking about uh, Caucasian women, that's not saying that brown-skinned women cannot have that potential either, and I didn't make that distinct factor uh, up between the two. It's based on the woman herself and her potential of if she's able or interested in bettering herself. Mm. Now, when it comes to the Caucasian woman, I would say that I've seen some surprising performance and activities and they are welcomed as well. OK, they are not denied in my circle. The same as brown skinned women are not denied in my circle. It is she who is willing to win will win. Simple as that. The, okay. the goalpost is always there. And if she makes herself available or if she's interested in um, in her own self-performance, if she's willing to be different than the rest of the women, if she's willing to have some sort of quality, if she's win willing to uh, rise above the rest of them, then she makes herself uh, a prize. She makes herself worthy or worthwhile spending time with regardless of what origin or culture she is okay so age isn't a factor, age isn't a factor. that's what you're saying oh yeah definitely age is a factor yeah i don't want no old cars okay. no way yeah it's a it's a big factor because i wrote something down the the older a woman is the harder it is to um how can i put this uh do something with her or for her that hasn't been done before. And women don't age like men. They age like cheese. So therefore, um, why would I put myself in a position where I'm with a woman who's older than me or who is of a certain age? It's not going to work out. And by that time, there's a thing called hitting the wall. Um, there's a thing called being bitter. And at the same time, I already know uh, the majority of, not all of them, but the majority of a woman's activity after a certain age is only based on uh, finding a financial secure place and not really trying to be in a relationship to offer it anything. So it's like this. Women will usually move in then to build or help that man build. And it becomes obvious with the 80%. Okay, here's the fact. Statistics. 80% rate of divorces based on women. Hold on, Morpheus, Morpheus. Before we go any further, but the thing is, you talk about financial. Let's go back on that. Okay. Because from where I'm standing, most older women got their thing together financially okay. compared to these younger women. Right. 
Mm-hmm. But yeah, you're saying you know older women you can't you can't do with it, right? But and, and older women, you're talking about women who don't have the morals of the women back in the day, like your grandmas. And I remember you said stuff like that, right? And older women, obviously they're older, so that means that they've seen more life, and they, they probably have mm-hmm. some of those morals into they, her. They, yeah, but let's say. So yeah, compared to a younger woman, right? You know, a younger woman has more millennial thinking. So you, um, it's interesting. You know, what what comes to my mind is a, a fresh, fresh and fit podcast. They they had a conversation on this, and I can't really break it down to you. But uh, a man don't me per se. I don't care about a woman's financial standing. Okay, I don't care less about that. I told you before. Here's the standard: feminine, fit, productive, supportive, and is she an asset to my life? If she already has the bag, the more she has the bag, the more money she make, the more she is somewhat establishment, the harder it is to be compliant in a relationship because she's so used to being her own boss. So you come along into the scene. All you are is to her an equal. Or are you going to be underneath her? Because you got to know when it comes to dating, that is getting outside the business world. Women have this thing called they date up. They don't date down. So she end up this this older lady with all this money and, and uh, more degrees than the thermometer, thanks to uh, CG. That's <laughs> Coach Greg Adam. She end up with more of these these uh, 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 college certificates, but she cannot comply herself to a simple relationship. Why? Because she ignored those years, those years that are prime for her to be married or get into a long term relationship is when she's in her twenties. That's not 29. Okay, that's that's between the age 22 and let's say 22, 25, somewhere like that. The, the minimum, I would say the uh, the breaking point for me is 26. So between that time, she has an opportunity to be in somewhat of a stable relationship because she has something to offer. She's young enough. She's youthful enough. She has the potential to do uh, to not be so bitter and not so uh, placard and painted into the world. Hmm. So therefore, again, it's still safety. Me knowing myself as a man. And not going out there. See, if you are a millionaire, you go to a car lot and you got the money to buy a brand new car. Most likely, you're not going to buy an old car unless it is a classic car, unless it has value, unless it's unique, unless it's special, and unless this car has, you know, it, and it, they're out there, unless they're one of a kind. But it's rare when it comes to women because women aren't one of a kind. They're all generally doing the same thing. They support each other's bad habits. They they run around with this womanist ideology that I can do the same thing men do. So it becomes a problem for men. So when you are, when you have options, it's a big thing. When you are men who have options, you're going to choose what you want. And you're not going to choose something that's been old and driven. You're going to choose something that's practically brand new or at least damn near brand new. Hmm. That could be true. Could be. That could be true. Well, you go out there, and, you go out there and buy you a used car. You let me know how that goes. I'll set you up with my mechanic. Well, I'll don't know, come calling me to work on that piece of shh because I ain't gonna do it. Well, I don't know about ah. you, I don't know about used cars, but older homes. Hold up. Now, I don't know about used cars, but I know older homes. They're older because they've stood the test of time. They have a strong foundation. Okay, so you're versus gonna... some of these younger, these newer homes. Ooh, yeah. Versus okay. Some of these newer homes have their creaks and oh. you know have things that need to be fixed. Where the older Ooh. homes have the brick foundation. So you want an older car? Is that what you're saying? No, I ain't talking about cars. I'm no, 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 no. But look, some older things. So you want some so older you... things can be obsolete, but some older things are better. Even though women are different. And I'm I'm not cutting you through. I mean, cutting you. That's funny. I'm not cutting you off. So let's say you take a trip out of town. You in uh, New Jersey, all the way on the east side of you know uh, United States, and you know that you're gonna drive. You're not gonna fly. You're gonna drive from New Jersey all the way over there to California on the west side, west coast. You're gonna you're gonna use a used car to do it. A car that has like two hundred and thirty thousand miles on it. See, uh, you can use a car as your. Uh... Symbolism. I'm talking about women here. Listen, about okay, I, I'm trying not to I'm trying not to break it down where it's gonna make it longer than what it needs to be. Here's the thing. Women aren't cars. They're not like that. But you gotta think of the analogy of how I'm breaking it down. Endurance, long-term effect, the work, high maintenance. Have you heard of high maintenance before? 
leaky valve gaskets. The stability system isn't cooperating properly. You got to remember, this woman has been there and she's done that. She knows how to fleece her men, especially if she's been married before and divorced. And now you've never been married and you get with this woman. She is going to take you to the ringer and back. She knows tricks that you never known before. When she was 24 years old, she was around probably high value men or ballers or men who was putting minkies in her drink. She woke up in the back of somebody's Jeep. She went up there to, to uh, what do you call that, to the community health program system to get herself clean because she has some type of funny STD. And you come along when she's 32 years old. You may be 32 years old. Sir, you are older than, she's older than you are. You're actually younger than she is. You're just starting your life out and probably getting better depending on what type of money you're doing. She's been there and done that. By 32, okay, she's in the danger zone. And she has the, what she's doing now is looking for somebody who's going to accept her leftovers and so betas soft hat ridiculous simps are the ones who come along and say well because i don't have any options i'm going to accept you because i don't have any standards i'm going to accept you because i don't know anything about the statistics of the real world i'm going to accept you and those betas and simps end up getting married to women like that or getting them i don't know how they get the pregnant lord have mercy but unfree thawing out her eggs or something but they get with her and most likely she has a child or two kids already and he ends up limiting his life. I teach men not to limit them life and not to limit their life and realize that they are the prize. And if you have options, if you have value, why would you choose something that's used when you can go get something that's brand new and is of your caliber and much younger with low mileage? Yeah, but young chicks, man, a couple young issues. I don't know. I, I, I like, like I said, I like older women. But I'm just younger. That's another thing. Oh, he likes older women. Well, oh, the truth comes out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I get it. I mean, look, look. I, I was, get it. Because when I was a young dude, I like older women. And then there are older dudes that like older women. Now, let's talk about the young women. Young women aren't necessarily liked by young dudes. They like, the young, old, young dudes usually like an older woman. And older dudes, there's still some that like older women. So it's like older women, they stand the test of time. These younger women, you know, I, I just, I can't deal with the young. I, I, oh, I this is it. this is I really mean, this is really good. Let's let's talk about that, man. Let's do it. I think you got less. I literally feel like you got less drama with older women versus a younger woman. Oh, younger really? Woman is just. The maturity level. Okay. When you compare the maturity level of an older woman to a young woman. See, an older woman knows when to pick her battles. Okay? Really? Like, you're not going to have an older woman, you know, bicker with you over the stuff a younger woman would bicker you, with you about. Do you know, you know what you You didn't, didn't buy me the new Jordans. But you know what you You, you didn't, didn't buy me this. You, you didn't know buy what? me that. Older women, they are appreciative. Oh you really? You older woman, you older women are all about sentimental value. Oh, they see the sentimental value. Okay, I, okay. Women, it's like I'm a, the younger I'm a, ones. I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna. I'm gonna tell you what you're if gonna. If you're not breaking your bank, they don't appreciate. I, I'm. T I just. That's fine, but I'm. A, I'm okay. I'm, I'm gonna you, tell you what you're gonna get with older women. Right, and I'm. A, I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna get. Please. That's a younger woman. But here you go. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. That's why you're gonna hear the police sirens. No, I'm gonna like tell to you why. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna tell you why. Young women like to grab knives. And women, stuff. if she's coming at you and you are a younger man, okay, you have to be of a different caliber if you're gonna be something that she's there because she respects you, or because you are at a certain level in your life where she's. I won't say under your control, but she's supporting you in your business, your ambitions, and you got things going on for you, which is rare for a younger man. As I just said, and it seemed like you didn't, you didn't hear what I'm talking about, women date up, they don't date down. That means most normal, common women usually date men that are older than them because men that are older than them are more established than they are. Women who date men who are younger than them most times, not all the time, is a disadvantage for the man because there's a respect level that's lost and there's a desperation as well 
And that means she's not trying to better herself so she can make herself applicable for a man who's of higher status or who is older than her because men who are older know more about the world. They know more about life. They have more wisdom so they can guide her in the right direction. Younger men can't quite do that. And another thing you got to realize, some women love, do you know Patricia O'Neill? I've heard of her. Okay, it's no, it's a, it's a he. <laughs> okay, my okay. God. Well, I mean, you don't know about Patrice O'Neill. Okay. I mean, you said Patrice. So that's a female. No, Patrice O'Neill. Patrice. That's Patrice. A, that's like a female. No, it's a man. Name. Patrice O'Neill. Why do you say Patrice? That's like saying a man, a woman named you Edith. Didn't, he don't hear it good. <laughs> you don't hear it. Listen, I can't bring the analogy here. I can't talk about what he said specifically because it's going to take too long. But it's this it's a shark game. When a woman meets a man, mm -hmm. it's a shark game. He's a male shark. Mm -hmm. She's a female shark. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's where she's supposed to be. Today, that male shark, if he's on his ground like he's supposed to be, if he has standards like I talked about before and give her a goalpost, mm -hmm. he just made a standard for her to reach. The society... The womanist movement and other women have told women that they can be praised no matter how ratchet, no matter how out of line. They don't want to cook. They don't want to clean. They don't want to do these kind of things for him. So she misses the point of being the female shark next to his side because he says, I'm not tolerating your BS. You're not being a woman shark like you're supposed to be. So she can't line up with this male shark. So what she does is this. She'll swim away because she still wants to find a man. So what she started doing is playing with penguins who aren't sharks. The penguins are the simps. The penguins are these guys who are significantly younger than her or just younger than her. Or she's in a case where she's a cougar and she's dating this guy who's younger because he can still smash her or he still has stamina. But hey, the respect and the, the, the respect and the level that's not the respect and the level of where she's supposed to be ain't quite there. Okay, because well, guess what happened when Mr. Shark comes back around the corner, which may or may not be an alpha or can be this guy who's older than her and it's established and know what he's doing. He comes back around and have these standards. Mm -hmm. S simple, common standards I'm talking about, you know, do right, cook, clean, take her to home, be committed, uh, stay off social media. Most standards that older don't, woman knows about. Don't shake ahead, your booty. Continue. And what happened is. Old women don't shake their booty. Go okay, ahead. well, we get to that in a moment about old women. Well, we'll talk about that in a moment. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it seems to me that you vouch for older women. That's fine. You know, it seems you're you're pandering for them. So I'm gonna call you the new Derek Jackson. <laughs> nah, see, and I'm gonna give you this as well. Hold up, Derek Jackson. Getting back to what I was saying. So, Derek Jackson. What happens is here trying to bash the, the finish. The story is this. No, he praises women. He so the shark comes into the scene and he says, "Mel." Uh, it's time for us to do some shark business now. Yeah, you're done playing with these penguins. They're just penguins. They're not sharks. These are the younger men. These are men who she knows that's not of her status. These are men who are pantsy, pantsy ass simps. Okay. Either she has stopped doing what she's doing and try to chase back after Mr. Shark and do what's right, or she realizes she can't add up to Mr. Stark, Mr. Shark's standard, so she keep playing with these penguins, and. Too bad today it's happening more frequently and more there's going to be more cougars, more older women are seeking younger men because they can't stand up with Mr. Big Sharp because men haven't changed for generation to generation. Women have with their idea of so-called equality in the womanist movement. And they can be ratchet. They can be 190 pounds to 250 pound linebacker. Okay. And still think that she's a 9 and a 10. When men are saying, yeah, there is somewhat of a standard of beauty. Now, there was a, a thing called, uh, I can't think of what the audio was about the standard of beauty. That beauty is an eye of a beholder, which is fine. Okay. But still, you want this girl, based on your own personal, personal preference, you want her to be at least uh, 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 attractive at a very healthy weight. Um, her hair is natural, no tattoos. You don't have no, mm -hmm. no earrings and she didn't chop her hair off. Okay. Just normal things like that. But women are like, oh, I don't care. I'm going to chop my hair off anyway. I'm going to be 350 pounds anyway. I'm going to 
be ratchet. I'm not going to cook for him. If he wants a beer, I'm going to tell you, get the your beer yourself. You can get up. You got two hands. God gave you two hands. You get it. So, so guess what? Like a young woman. They mm-hmm. can't add up to it. Now, the thing about older women that you got to understand, mm-hmm. years ago, they were this person who jumped, shipped over guys who were decent for them. Mm-hmm. They were the ones who was particularly out of place. They misused guys who were nice guys. Mm-hmm. They'll pat them on, oh, good job, but I don't want to be with you. They chase bad boys. And here's, I, I need you to check this out. They chase bad boys. Just like young women do. They chase men who are no good for them. Mm-hmm. Then let's say that you are, let's say 50 years old, for example. Mm-hmm. Both of y'all 50. So here, here's this. No, 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 no. She's 50. You're 32, for example. Let's put that gap there. Okay. And you're just getting better. You you get this job now where you're making some good money. Oh man, you really racking it in. And she realized I'm the she, best darn fry flipper. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's you ever seen. I, I guess. I guess that's fine. I mean, I mean, if you you fly flipper, you can be that. But, <laughs> that's fine. But 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 check this out though. Look, here's the point. You're getting better with your life. You're getting grants. Let's say that you're you're coming across money. You're you're doing things. You're getting ready to go to the next stage of life. Mm-hmm. She failed her mission by finding a man and treating him right for 50 something damn years. Okay, she had all the Here's a trick. Women have more proceeds than men. Women have an advantage than men. You may have 10 women out of a let's just throw some out there. Out of 6 months you may speak to maybe 10 possibly less women. But women on the hand have way more than that probably a hundred in that short amount of time true so what's the excuse if she's 50 years old and she had 50 years of so many men who came in her life and gone she plowed through them listen she plowed through every single man used them abused them tripped them up slept with them uh probably had a couple of kids by them married a couple of them she realized she failed herself and now she's looking for a retirement plan and she's looking for somebody who's going to take her leftover. So what happened is she's waiting for some blue pill sent beta who don't know his worth, who have no standards, who have no potential with himself, who have no concern for his standards or what he's looking for in the future mm-hmm. to accept her at her decline. Yes, younger women have their issues. But they're in their prime. They have something to offer. And at the same time, These days, no, wait, wait a minute. That means you're not a high value, nor do you have the standard of yourself. Because when you are on your grind and your blocks and your standard, okay, why would you care about this girl over here that you know, uh, uh, first of all, you know how to communicate with her. First of all, you have your own uh, conditions. Second of all, you got a standard that if she line up to, Fine. If she want to be ratchet, go. She want to be a 21 year old who's going to cause problem in your life, get gone. Okay. Or if she wants to comply, apply to your life. But here's the thing. Won't have much of an issue with you. Cougar. You are sh- right. you are showing women a cougar. Okay. Wow. Listen to this. Okay. You are showing women what you are willing to accept. So therefore, when she burns the bridges, she's doing all this stuff in her life and she didn't, couldn't find a man. What makes you think now that you come along and she comes along, you're like, hey, baby, how you doing? She's missing teeth, you know, and her hair is all raggedy and she's, you know, her hips don't work anymore. And you're 32 years old and you're going to accept something like that? No way. No way. You are making, you, once again, you're giving a woman prize you're giving a woman a chance to escape her responsibilities and be accountable for her bad actions when she needs to face the fact that she destroyed her bridges and she stepped on all kind of men who could possibly, who could have been possibly her mate or her husband in her current life. Yeah, say what you want, man. I, I, I'm telling you, I, I like my cool. Man. Let, let's go move on. Let's move on to something different. Beta. Let's talk about relationships in general. Beta. Let's, let's talk about relationships in general. All okay. Right? Uh, 
What, are your, what is your thought on relationships in general? I mean, forget the take the the the, the three way out of it. Okay, three way. Just talk. It don't have to be three way. It can be twelve way. I'm just joking. Come on, you don't know about that. I don't know. You twelve play. You brought, you brought, you brought twelve, play. twelve play. Come on. You, how many fingers on your hand? You got five, sir. You probably the ten way. What's no, the question? No, but, but anyway, uh, we're talking about relationship. <laughs> relationship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, now I'm gonna keep uh, keep it real. Let's, let's be honest, man. Relationships. Keep it real, Mister. I want a, a, a older mother for a wife. Hey, ah! hey man. <laughs> I'm telling you. First of all, it's not older mother. It's more experience woman. It's more. She, he wants a mother, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you, okay. Find me a famous basketball rapper, singer, actor, or find one of them who's gonna say, you know what? I want grandma to be my wife. If you look at them, they always go for a woman who's younger, feminine fit. Yo, I'm going to give you a trick. Y'all, I'm going to give you one trick, and I'm going to shut up and let you ask the question. Because people need to know this. Okay. <laughs> School's in session. I'm going to give you a trick. Women of all age ranges, they can smell a man who will tell them this. Act right or get bent the hell out get out they know that whether she's 21 23 24 years old because she knows you got options if you let her know like i do with my women i let them know up front this is what i need from you this is what i want from you if you do this i am going to take care of you i got your back don't worry about it baby you skip a day of work i got your back you don't want to work i got your back right you take care of this i got you just don't act like that but i let her know I don't need her. That's the trick. You like drama. No, 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 no. That, the moment drama. she act up, the moment she <laughs> drama. No, the moment she act up, you got to give them consequences. Hey, I'm not, I'm not tolerating it. But see, you're not gonna get either. You act, act look, up. That's okay. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, you're gonna, you may not get act up, but no. you're gonna get dry. You're gonna get leftovers. You're gonna have a whole lot of bad spirits. And you're gonna have a lot of stuff coming to your world that you least expected because everything is energy. You got to remember. She's 50 something or 32 or 40 something years old. She's been there and done that before you have been there. She's been around the world. She have had her fun. If you look at social media, mm -hmm. when you look at dating sites, match.com, this plenty of fingers. I mean, plenty of fish, plenty of fingers. That's funny. Plenty of fish. Hey, you okay, uh, plenty of fingers. Oh, but, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, plenty of, <laughs> and, uh, uh, what do you call that? Dating singles or Christian singles. They always say, I had my fun. I'm ready to settle down. What does that mean? I've been there. I've done that. I've already gave my oats. I've already been out there. Which means I'm more I'm calm. I'm ready man. to. No, I'm ready to settle down. I'm more calm. So you go to the store and you're at my restaurant, right? Okay, let's, okay. let's go there. You're at my restaurant. Yep, I'm at your restaurant. You are there because you're ready for some food. Yeah, but you know what? I'm no, 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 no. Let's, let's no. That's okay. I don't, I don't, I don't need you at my restaurant. restaurant. I'm gonna That's be okay. At her home. My women. Are. She gonna but cook me I some just, biscuits from scratch. Yeah. She gonna cook. <laughs> she gonna cook me some fried chicken, yeah, uh -huh. some green beans. Uh, well, let's get back to this conversation here. Listen. So look. I have to go. So to you restaurant. go to the restaurant. You gotta go to the restaurant. Everybody. Got chicks and everybody. Okay. With my laugh track. I'll give you this right here. Okay, how about that? So yeah, that's a laugh no. track moment. Okay, uh -huh. yeah, see, so get to control the control the bells and whistles. I'll give you this. <laughs> no, if you can sell that, you are, that, that's some young women. Get it, getting with, back to what I'm saying. Don't know how to cook. Don't know how to clean. You go, don't know how to bathe. They tail. Then you know what? And that's what you get. Oh, that's fine because that's what you want. No, check this out. No, 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 no. What I, I'm saying mm -mm. is, I don't have time to teach a woman how to wash herself. You, <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't hear a thing. You don't hear. You don't hear it good, do you? You don't hear it good because I'm telling you, man. Older women got their benefits, man. I, ladies I'm and gentlemen, you. ladies and gentlemen, he still needs a nipple, and he still needs a mother. Yeah, need that is exactly what he is, so and peace. we we found that out here. In my life, I need peace. Peace. So back to what I was saying. So you go to the store, I'll go to the, the restaurant. You're looking for fresh food. Okay, go. To and the you store. want them to go in there, cook the food, bring it out to you on the table. So you mean to tell me that when the store is almost near closed, they made this food like nine o'clock in the morning, they first opened it up, and it's been sitting there all day long, not even warmed up. It's just been the the bread now is crusty, the spaghetti and the meatballs has been sitting there all hard and stuff. 
So you mean to tell me that at nine o'clock when they're closing, you're willing to buy that? What is that? Nine, ten, twelve, the, the thirteen hour old food? No, no, I wouldn't. But the thing is, I'm gonna even be you know. At that well, no, no, no. You said no. So yeah. why? You said I, no, I, so why would I you... I wouldn't even be at that no, no, restaurant. No, 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 you are. Because I got an older woman. No, you are. I will be you just, at her you, place. You're contradicting she yourself. She's going to be cooking me some you're food. Contra- you're not understanding... Ladies and gentlemen... You're talking about food. Ladies and gentlemen... At a restaurant. I'm listen to this. Listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. He's not getting what I am saying. You just said you would not buy that plate of food. When you attach yourself to an older lady, she's been there... She done that. She had her trains. She been trained. She been around town. She been treated to the finest restaurants. She know a lot about what's his name, uh, um, Salt Bay. Okay, um, she been trying to go out there to the find her a basketball Bay. player. She's been looking. She's been hanging out with a baller. She got herself pregnant with somebody else's child. She's walking around with somebody else's child. So she's a mother of two. Mm-hmm. The father's nowhere to be so around. She about kids. So she had she had a lifetime to find her a husband and saddle up with. Okay. And she have I, I can it's just terrible to talk about. She's been there and she's done that. So after she have made a flop of her life, you as a simp is willing to accept her in her decline. And either wife it up or waste your time. Let me some let me tell you something I would do. I am too busy working on my business. I'm too busy working in my office. I'm too busy on my grind. I'm too busy being successful. I'm too busy traveling town. I'm too busy playing golf. I'm too busy spending time in a circle of other high value men than to sit here and waste an hour or a year or six months. On a woman who have hit the wall, flipped over it, hit several other walls, and start walking backwards, and still can't figure out who she is 50 years later, just to donkey dunk with this leftover pile of spaghetti. I'm sorry. I'd rather be... No, I'm not sorry. For, the, the hell with that. I'm not sorry. I'd rather be with something that's fresh, that's not going to waste my time, get straight to it, get on with the program, and if she have the, if she have the potential to be in my life for long term... And if she has the potential to be a wife, if she gets her ass together and her act straight, I'd rather be in that circle where there's going to be a brighter future than to be driving some beat up old car with high mileage and have the potential to break down on me on my highway to success. But you're going to go through a lot more young women than you would older women looking for one that's going to That's you. fine because guess what? They won't get a ring and they won't get commitment until they get their ass straight because if 90% of the women are uh worthless are they going to be trouble are they going to be an issue then i don't have to deal with it that's why the door is open that's why you don't get monogamous that's why you don't settle down that's why not not settle down but saddle up that's why you don't give them that commitment because you got to give them a goal to reach when you give them a goal to reach either they're going to reach it or they're not going to reach it but that's good enough that's fine the more they walk out of the door that's actually good for you because you're seeing exactly what isn't good for you and they're not wasting your time it's better for somebody to show you who they are than for them to be with you for two years, three years, and all of a sudden, guess what, honey? I don't like sex anymore. And here you are sleeping on your couch as a married man to an older lady in a monogamous relationship where you got to sneak in the garage to look at some P.O.R.N. because she can't sexually satisfy you no more. Man, I'll tell you, you sound like a slave to the modern American male these days, man. Male? You sound like a slave. I mean, you know, with that same mindset, she got to be young. She I'm a slave. Have perky tits. I'm a you know, slave. She gotta, yeah, I mean, you act like that, man. Like, you over here, see, I think in my lane. I don't think let's, let's based think off about the trend. Your lane is you need a mother, huh? Come no, on. No, no, no. My you lane. You said you like your, you just said no, in the no. beginning you like your I milk. I'll tell you what my lane Did you say you like your milk? Let me help you out with that. You like your milk. Oh, yeah. My almond milk. Got to make almond milk. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, for you, it might be cow milk. Nah, I'll do the uh-huh. cow milk. No, sir. I do not do that cow milk. I used to, but cow milk make you gas. I like all the milk. Seems like, that, seem, seem like that's all you know how to talk about is gas, because all I hear out of your mouth is gas. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Get the rain jokes out of here. No, no, no. Look, he can't even speak. Get I'm looking for his analysis. He's not even coming out. up with nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Because no, no, he's talking like you've been doing for darn near a whole 
the whole conversation. Because, let me, let because me you ain't seen it. Let me get my part. I'm waiting for you. Okay, let me get my part. Like I said, all of it, it goes down smooth. Just like an older woman is smooth. The older woman, you're not going to have as much turbulence with an older woman compared to these young women. Okay, older women, they know how to wash their body. Older women oh, know how to cook a meal. Really? Older women know how to pamper a man. Oh. Older women know how to treat their home. Preach, older brother. Older women know how to keep a home clean. Ooh, hallelujah. Okay? I'm about you, to shout. Oh. you talk about you like these younger women, but these younger women... They, like you said, need to be trained. Older woman is trained. I didn't See, say. I didn't say trained. Let me tell you something. I didn't say trained. Yeah, you, you said. So, yeah, I didn't say you, trained. You, I said that, standard. Did, did he say trained? Did he standard. say trained? I know he said. Tra- I know my ears are not that bad. He said no, something don't, about you don't trained. Hear good. Okay, older women don't need to be. trained. No, you have standards. Younger women have to be trained. Okay. Okay, you said that. Y- younger if women. If you want to say that, that's fine. Well, you said this. You said trained, sir. I heard no. you. You said trained. No. And the thing is, younger women, they have to be trained. Older women, they've been trained. Okay, in fact, older women do the training. Okay? Mm-hmm. Younger women need to go ahead and fall in line. I'm telling you, man. Look, and the thing is, I have gone through enough in life. He needs somebody, <laughs> he needs somebody to raise him. No, no, no. I need peace. Wow. I need peace. Mm-hmm. I, 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 the last thing I need is more turbulence. I already deal with enough turbulence. Outside the walls. He needs a mother. When I come home, I want peace. Okay? I want someone who knows how to cook a home-cooked meal. All right. Let me, I want someone who knows how to draw okay, a bath Let's water. do some. Okay. I want someone who knows how to treat their man like the king that he is. Okay? Uh, let's get ready to rumble. And these young women, <laughs> they don't understand that. These okay. young women are more about self compared Ooh, to the older women when it comes like to these that. relationships. Okay. Why is this? Okay. Why? Why? Yeah. Why are they all about self? Why? Yeah. Because they millennial. The millennial mindset says okay. that it's about self okay. versus the older woman says that it's about my man. What's the solution to this? What you mean? What's the solution to no, this? No, 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 no. Women need to soak no. up some game from the older women. That's no, no, no. Oh my God! Listen to what I'm saying. No, no, no. Let's start all over again. Let's do, let's, let's let's do this again. Let's do it again. Okay. No, no. What's the solution for the? Because I'm giving you, I give solutions. What's the solution? I said something at the beginning. Let me see if you can catch it. What's the solution to them acting like that? Why do they act like that? Why are they doing that? Because I'm going with the trends, man. The trends. Because men aren't in their roles. Who is chasing after these girls but men? Women only act out according to... Okay, if women are... Let's say they're straight. They're not lesbian and they're not... They're interested in the opposite sex. They want to be with the men. And men are going to chase them. They're going to be around them. I guess around early age or 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It goes up from there. If men were to have better standards... If they were to say no when it comes to dating, when they were to stop tolerating, when the woman, when she gets out of line, the 19 year old, she start blabbing off, right? And they say, man, I'm not dealing with this BS. I'm going home and leave her there. If he, he stops her from getting an attitude, if he don't pay for the date, if he's like, no, nah, I'm not dealing with that since you want to act out. I can guarantee you if the girl wants to be in a relationship with him, she's going to change her vision she's going to change how she talk because ain't no man going to want to be with her that's just like a man if a man keeps turning women off because he i don't know he stinks or he's ugly or whatever he's doing or maybe he don't maybe he don't he don't have a car or something maybe he's a scrub or maybe he's living in his mom's basement and every woman keep every woman keeps saying no i can't be with you because you don't have enough money i can't be with you because you live at your mom's house oh i want to stop by and spend the night with you sleep with you but you're in your mom's basement this seems odd right so eventually guess what the guy's going to do he's going to start looking at that below okay if i want women i'm going to have to step up in the game i have to change my perspective i'm have to change my ways i'm gonna have to take a shower i'm have to get a better car i'm have to brush my teeth i'm have to i'm gonna have to get a i'm gonna have to do something for myself so again, women do that because they are a reflection of men. Now going back to you said when the old women and young women, when an old woman walks into the room and she's in the lingerie, this is what happens to me. 
I'll go. Now, when a younger woman come into the come into the room, this is what happens. Charge it. Why? Because of my chemistry. Because I'm a man. Now, because not only that, I'm in my zone. Now, here's another thing as well. Before I lose this thought, I'm, I'm going to give the floor back to you. Here's the distinguishing factor of men and the caliber of men. This is very important to probably help with this understanding because I need you to see where I'm coming from when it comes to older and younger women. Okay. Men who have a standard, men who are of quality to themselves and quality to the world, and they have options, okay? They're already taking care of themselves. They can already cook and clean for themselves. They can already function in their own world. As a matter of fact, before men can be the best version of themselves, they probably already had to cook, clean, and take care of everything on their own anyway. So they don't really need an older woman. They don't really need a mother figure. They don't really need another lady to come along and try to be this, oh, I can cook, I can do do, do, this, even though it's a benefit, okay? But at the same time, listen, the younger woman is more feasible, more dutiful, more accurate, more accessible, more uh, moldable, more sensible for him and his manhood versus a woman who's already been there and done that. Yes, the older, the younger woman, this it's not all, but, but some of them do. They know how to cook. Some of them know how to vacuum the floor. They know how to do the blinds. They know how to do all the womanly duties. Here, I just told you again, they don't do it because of standards of society. They don't do it because there's too many blue pill betas who like you, have no standards, have no direction, and don't have a checkered flag for them to follow. <laughs> Most women understand who they can run over and who they can't run over. A man who has options, <coughs> she can't run over him because you say either you do it or get out or you can be changed. Especially if this man is a breadwinner, he got his life in order, and he's a decent guy because if she don't do it, Guess what? Another woman's going to come into place. He don't have to deal with the young woman's attitude and she know it. So she's going to keep herself in line because she realized he's going to boot her out. Please. Now, the older women, Please. I understand what you're talking about. She can provide these sort of great things and establishment. But no, 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 no. To argue with the older woman. A man of quality realizes that. Why isn't this woman married already? Why isn't this woman not with somebody already? How come she had. OK. If we're playing football. I am the amateur, you're the professional football player, okay? So as a professional football player, <laughs> as a professional football player, we battle each other, right? Okay. Why would I beat you? How? It's impossible, right? How come I'm getting, let's say I get, uh, I got 23 points on the board and you got two points on the board. Hey, but wait a minute, Brian, You've been doing, you are a professional football player. Why is Morpheus beating you? You'd be like, Some, something's wrong here. Everybody will see that something's wrong. It's a scam. It's a broken pro. So you're doing something. Or are you just giving me lead way? You feeling trend. sorry for me? Yeah, it's going to be hell. So a woman versus a man. For if she's 32 and, and we're 32, for example, she's older than we are. She been there and done that. She had more advantage than us. When she's born out of the mama's womb. When she's a child, nature gives her everything. The environment gives her everything. The patsy, blue pill, soft, beta, simp ass father gives her everything. And the mom begins to program her with everything. So she already has the run of a mill, whereas boys have to work for their value. Men have to suffer to be the best version of themselves, and they don't have the advantage as women do. So here's the thing. What's the excuse for her to be 32 and single and the excuse for you to be 32 and single? You got an excuse because women don't chase men. Men are always made or told or programmed or expected to chase women. And it's hard for men. It's hard for a pimp out here. It's hard for a pimp. It's hard. It's hard for a man to get that. 
because women have unrealistic expectations and most of them are chasing the top 10 20 percent of men who are breadwinners or who are so-called high value men so the thing is the excuse is compared again to football how the hell is she going to lose and she's a professional at the field and you are amateur there's no way i should beat you you should know the field back and forth no matter how big and strong i am you're still a professional football player, and I'm not. You know how to kick the ball. You've been doing it for your whole career. You've been throwing the ball for your whole career. So you should be wondering, like, wait a minute. How come she's not married right now? If she's such a good woman, if she makes good pancakes, you know, if she can make these Salisbury steaks, if she's good at putting lasagna together, if she know how to fold the blinds correctly, you know, if she know how to fold the bed and make the make his make her husband or your specifically your steak and eggs correctly, how come nobody wifed her up? Answer that question. Well, that's the thing. You don't see a lot of cougars that haven't been wifed up. You don't see a lot of them. Oh, oh, wait, whoa, 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 what, what, what? Oh, Co Compared no. to these younger women, you don't see, I think you see more cougars that have been wifed up before versus young women that have, that are. Because usually the young women are trying to be. They're trying to get to that level. Wait, wait, you, uh, wait, wait. Uh, well, you, you're saying I, I skip what you're saying because it kind of blew my mind for a second there. You said there's not a lot of single older women. Is that what you're saying? Uh, compared to the younger women. Uh, wrong. According to the statistics, there are more single women than there ever used to be in the history of America. And in 2023, prediction there's going to be even more single women. Because of the womanist ideology and because most women have chased their careers for such a long time and those older, I will call bitter, left behind women have been teaching their daughters to do the same. Where did you so get those statistics actually, from? Wikipedia? There's, <laughs> there's actually, <laughs> you said, that's funny. There's, there's actually more single women than there ever used to be because of the way that America is ran. Maybe not in other uh, uh, countries, maybe not in other states, but in America, definitely because of the way America is being ran by the idea that women have no standards. They can do whatever they wanna do and still be praised. Men try to have standards, it's no good. Women have standards, it's the best. When men wanna be masculine, it's toxic masculinity. When women wanna be masculine and considered to be strong and independent, it's okay. Men are still supposed to roll out the carpet and call her princess, and I guess in your case, <coughs> a uh, a uh, a queen. Be mad that you ain't got one. The only queen you your young women know about is Dairy Queen. Let's let's make something clear. I never said that I wanted one. See, and I don't need one because I am a valuable man. And I have my life in order. I'm saying, so was so valuable, if it was, if it was, seen value if it, that's pop, that's that's fine. If it was possible, you're single, sir. If it was possible, I'm actually, it's good to be where I am today. Your Friday it's nights wonderful are to be. lonely with the a point is tube this, of lotion. The point is this. No, it's it's really not. <laughs> the point is this. It have nothing. At this particular, <laughs> at this particular. <laughs> Oh, you got jokes, don't you? Oh, he want to be roasted, ladies and gentlemen. He want the alpha to roast his ass and send him home crying. He going to be sounding like this at the end of the day. It's not a... Men got to understand this. It's not up to us anymore. It's up to women because they have created the dilemma if that makes sense. They were the ones that decided to leave the cave. Not only did they leave the cave, they left the cave they stepped on the man's feet and spit in his face at the same time and said, I don't need you. Uh, I can do this all by myself. Mm. You went out there to tackle the lions, the, bi the tigers, and bears. Oh my. oh, my. I can do it now, too. So it renders the man in a, I won't say pointless, a useless position, but it's seemingly a useless and pointless position to her perspective and her ideology or her way of life. So therefore, she goes out there and she puts herself in most times a jeopardized situation. Mm -hmm. So once she realized the forest is bigger, there's full of animals and bigger creatures and monsters that are more devastating than her and her perspectives and her false idea, social construct, 
Then she runs back to the cave where the man is and say, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I need your help now. 40 years later. I need your help now. I didn't I didn't know that I really needed you. Can you accept me by that time? 40 years later. He's no longer in the cave. He's somewhere else. So he already gained the, the RP. So he got the RP and he saved. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Little man. So, is there any more questions you want to throw out here with me, and we we can jazz it up, or I'm like, look, look, we've talked about women, we've given women they shine, this whole thing, um, and by shine, I mean we shine some light on. I'm gonna say shine like we put them all on the pedestal, not quite. You put them on the pedestal. Yeah, I was right. keeping it. I was keeping it straight yeah. and forward. You was being the simp. Now I like older women. Look, like ladies and gentlemen, me. he's being the simp. Y'all know it. Yeah. Go ahead and take your nipple. Go ahead, plenty of them. I do be sucking on some nipples. Some yeah, huh? nipples. yeah, huh? Go ahead, continue. I know the woman with you. Next question. Right. Look, let's start. Let's start with the women. Let's 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 talk about different things now. Because uh, you like you 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 already said you don't like older women. What about older game systems? Okay, an old woman to me is like the PS in the game system world. Okay, something that's tried and true and should not be denied. And Xbox is basically these young women that are trying to get to the level that the PS is on. I, I, uh, so what do you what do you uh, particularly uh, sir, yes. So what are you particularly saying? So you're so you're saying uh, I'm, I'm not getting it. Are you saying uh, you're talking about game consoles, right? Oh, hey, hold on. it's just like when you talk about cars and stuff. I believe PlayStation is the tried and true game system, and I believe that PlayStation is going to continue to be better than Xbox, even though Xbox is innovative, it's new, you know, they're trying these new things, but in the end, they're trying to be what PS is. Okay, well, I can't, I get it. I can't truly compare uh, women to game systems, because if that were the case, we'll, we'll get to that in a moment, because, okay, the game systems are like this. Both of them are good. Both of them have their set games on there. And both of them are a necessity. They are wonderful. Mm. I have both game systems and they're they're great. Both of them have good graphics. One may be good at one thing. The other one may be good at the next. Mm -hmm. You'll be missing some game titles on Xbox if you play that. And you'll be missing some Xbox games if you just play PlayStation. It, I have a saying that you don't throw the... You don't throw the baby and the bathwater out at the same time. And what that means is there is something to gain from most game consoles. And even if one game console have probably good uh, a few titles that are good for you to play and enjoy, the trick is they're good titles. And you don't want to miss up on that opportunity. If you're capable of getting more than one console and it's good for you, you can enjoy yourself with the variety of games. It actually opens up your door and it opens up your life. So I can't say that PlayStation or Xbox are who's better than the other because that would be kind of silly because I know if I just play PlayStation, I'm going to be missing some Xbox games and I'm going to be missing out on the titles and their their potential. The same as playing Xbox. I can't say, oh, PlayStation is BS. No, no, I can't say that. No, because I know full well uh, that as a wise man that I'll be missing out on titles. Hey, now, here's here's the thing about comparing with women. Mm. Oh, yeah, his, women. Now you said the older women versus the younger woman, for example. Okay, let's go ahead and get that started because no, this is gonna this is gonna step on some toes. No, I, I about oh people. no, you trying to you trying to step on my no, toes now? We, I got size. No, 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 no. You, you might now you might want to you might want to step back because I got you might want to step back because I got some big feet. You know no, that. No, move your feet. Now, move your feet. As we've been talking no, to you me. said it in the beginning. Man, so I'm a, on, you man. can't have the best of both worlds because this is how I'm gonna operate. With the younger woman, I see a future, and I see she's going to stay younger, longer. She haven't hit the wall yet, and most likely she haven't been around the block as many times as a so-called professional football player who can't actually make a touchdown, which the hell something's wrong with that BS, okay? So there's potential over there. That's where my eggs, that's where my prospects and my investment will be. The older lady who's a has-been and hit the wall, she may be cute enough to bang for a night or two, Okay. I may smash her for a night or two. She may have the opportunity to have this alpha size 14s come over there and probably give her a smile or two. But 
Am I going to keep her? Hell no. Absolutely not. The moment she said, oh, I want to settle down. I want to keep her. Back. No, because she had her fun. She's done for. Now, would I do that? No. I'm talking about if it was available and it was just a situation. We were just feeling it. It was one night. It was just that situation where, uh, well, it was all green lights. Then maybe. But because of my standards, I wouldn't even try. I wouldn't even look their direction. Wherever I go, she's going to have to be younger, vibrant, big eyed, ready to go. If she's older, I'm not going in her direction. I don't go to a used car lot. I'm not going to no buy here, pay here because I'm a man of options. I'm a man of means. I can go and pick and choose what I want. So if I want a Lamborghini, I'm going to get a Lamborghini. Why would I go out there and, and, and pick a Chevy Cavalier? The hell with that. What am I going to do if I want a, uh, what are you talking about? If I want a, Chevy um, Cavalier is a classic. If car. I want a Koenigsegg or if I want a, uh, what do you call that? A McLaren. Why am I going to go there and get a, of a, a Chevy Tahoe. You got, you got Absolutely the, Tahoe. the hell not. Hey, them Tahoes are nice. Though. Yeah, they, they're nice and they're big and they're bulky. That's probably just how you like your women, too. Over 190 pounds. Oh, they love you. Oh, no cushion for the pushing. Oh, man. my God. <laughs> no cushion for the pushing. Oh, pushy. my Lord. Yes, sir. No wonder you need a nipple. Okay, so next question. Yeah, Was that it? That answer your question? But which nipple? Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? We already talked about fat, skinny. That's you. I think we're going to end it here because I want to ask you. Final questions now, and I, thoughts. I don't have any, uh, I guess I don't have a leg, quote unquote. In this conversation here. No, no, no. But well, I, I should be asking you. So how do you, what, what, what is your, now that you're able to have a conversation with me man to man and uh, I'm the same as I am on the audio as I am here physically with you. What, what is your thoughts now? I mean, is, is, am I what I, I'm cracked up to be or am I being direct with you and I don't do no holes bar What what's your thoughts? I mean... It, or do you still have questions? I have to put my size 14 down and crush everything <laughs> and, and give you your mommy's nipple that you want. I mean, you got your ideas. I got my ideas. ideas. Yeah, I'm just saying that everyone is entitled to to think the way they think. Okay. And I think the way I think, I think you, you think the way you think. And that's what makes, you know... I, I think that's what makes the world what it is, man. You mm. can't have everybody agree. Mm, that's on the true. same yeah. thing. I, I I agree with that. Yeah. But it, it was good for me to see a, uh, you know, uh, a beta in person. But <laughs> it, was, it was quite intriguing at the same time. But so you're, now you try to try your to your I, shots. your idea on women are like this though. You, you so I can imagine that you probably have no options. Oh no, I got plenty of options. What time? Oh, what time your mama? No, no, I ain't gonna go there. I'm not saying, what? What time your mama come home from work? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, so you trying to cut me up, huh? Yeah, no, no, no. But uh, like uh -huh. I said, let's let's get back to it. All right, because I don't have a mm -hmm. leg in hey, this, this conversation. No, this here. this this establishment is all mine. That yeah. my my listeners know it is. Yeah. So I'm sorry that you're my, my version of a leg. I, I don't leg apologize, but I understand that you still need a mother to come and pay your bills and help you out. So having something like this, what you say, it's impossible. Like having several women, it's impossible because to you, it's impossible because you don't make things happen and you have no goals or directives. So therefore, the the women that you choose most likely they're going to be secondary and second rate performers. I mean, I just don't like drama. You like the drama. I, I'm Personally, cool off the drama, sir. But the thing is, the thing is, as far as uh, the thing is, you won this argument, didn't you? Uh, you really put your foot down, huh? You came over here to tell Morpheus that he's full of bullshit, and you lost. Morpheus <laughs> full of maneuver. Uh -huh, maneuver. <laughs> you, yeah. But anyway, no, you got neutered. Uh, oh, uh, oh, shoot. Uh, <laughs> 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 anyway, 
Like I said, they love me though. Let's let's talk about these leg these leg uh, leg exercise. That's why I say I don't have. A oh, leg the gym. Yeah, yeah. We, I we'll, mean, my first leg exercise is running to the ice cream truck. Yeah, now, let's be honest. Yeah, let, you let, hear let, that, ladies and gentlemen? Your version of Did y'all leg? hear that, ladies and gentlemen? What, he said, is, "Run into the ice cream truck." That, I mean, I mean, do I'm, you see the type of man I'm talking to right now? You hear that? Look, look, I'm so he's saying. gonna question me about having various women and options, and I'm a high value man. But yet, this guy loves going to the ice cream truck that comes around his hood. Hey, look, oh shoot! Look, you, you, oh shoot! Hold up! Just because you in shape, just holy! Hold up! Just because you in shape doesn't mean I'm not in shape. Okay, I'm in perfect shape. I'm a, no, my mind is my mind is round. in shape. That's what it is. My no, mind. Look, my shape is I am perfectly round. Oh okay? really? I'm in shape. <laughs> But let's talk about too many ice cream cones. You yeah, swallowed it. I'm telling you, man, perfectly right. Big. Damn, he swallowed the ice cream chuck. Mother. Big. Oh, sh- big is in shape. Yo, okay. what? No wonder you like your BBWs. Oh uh, shoot! Show the type Holy of, shoot! The type that that uh, they show you dry and then eat some lunch with you. Oh, oh what? Yeah. Oh yeah. What you gonna Lisa? Oh, he's yeah. on it today. Yeah, you know that. You know that. You know that song. You know that song. But anyway, so let's talk about but. All jokes aside, jokes. I, do, I do try to do a little bit of working yeah. out. Are you are is a joke. <laughs> How's you gonna be if you don't hit that treadmill? Oh yeah, shoot! Yeah. Okay, so treadmill. That's what you're saying for legs is a treadmill. Oh my god! I didn't say that. I asked you. See, he don't listen. He needs his mama mama. Come on over here and take care of him, Shirley. Big Shirley. Hey, Big Shirley. He needs you. Man, I'm gonna I'm love me. Big hey, Big Shirley. I would love me a big shirt. You know, Cole didn't know what to do with that woman. Yeah, right? yeah. Most women, yeah, most I, men. I would love me a big shirt. Most men, when they go to the gym and talk about the legs, uh, they look. How about they look funny? So they'll go and yeah, they look funny. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, they look. Oh yeah, they look funny. A strong crackhead. Yeah, they they do. They go in the gym, right? And yeah. they'll look at me. You know, out for Morpheus. I'm just banging stuff around, throwing weights around, doing my leg and exercise. They will look at me the whole time while they're just sitting there on their dumb phone, uh, texting or talking to their mom or whoever else like you. And uh, so they will (laughs) and then they will uh, they will do their bench pressing. They'll Uh do their dumbbells and they'll sit there and sweat. And sometimes that's all they do. They go there and they hit the bench press and put like a couple of plates on there. Oh, oh, boom, boom. Oh, man, I did a good workout. And I noticed that they'll do that and then they'll leave. And they do that every so often. They go, they hit the they hit the chest, they do their somewhat of dumbbells and they leave. And give them a certain amount of time, they look fun. I mean, they have a big chest. They have big arms, a little well, they have big triceps. I mean biceps. But they look funny. Their legs look like pencils. They look like you can you can sit on their legs and they're cracking half. So they look they look dumb. Okay. <laughs> And most men that I train, when I get in there, say, you got to do your full body. You got to do your arms, your legs, your abs. You got to make sure that everything is aligned, almost like you're doing a bodybuilding competition. But these guys, they don't, they're, they're way under trained and they don't see themselves in the mirror. And they think that going to the gym and just doing a bench press covers every muscle in their body. And they look the most, look, they look the most ridiculous and the most funniest looking dude. And then they walk around and think they got confidence. And all you got, all you need to do is just go get your nine-year-old son and kick him in the legs, and he's done with one, two, three. You're out. So <laughs> these Crazy. guys, are, they don't know what they're doing because their mom raised. They see these guys on TV, and they're like, "Oh man, I know how to do it. You can't tell me what to do." They go in there. I go ahead and do some bench pressing. I did my workout for the day. Nobody told them that they're doing it wrong. Hmm. Until you get into a UFC battle or some type of kickbox, and they realize that their legs are skinnier than sticks. So what kind of exercise would you uh... recommend? Yeah, yeah. Anyway. for my le- for your legs. Well, you know, there's the lateral pull. There's the uh, the extension, leg extension. You have the squat. You have the uh, I, there's so many names that I can't really think about right now, but there are several machines that can concentrate on every muscle of your legs that you know you need to get on. The treadmill is usually for your cardiovascular, for your breathing. It will help out with your muscles a little bit, but not as much as the sit down extension or the squat or calf raises as well. Calf raises is very vital and important. Oh yeah, the calf raises are good. So the, the same veracity, energy, and interest that they invest and use when they bench press, 
they just use, do the same for the legs. And the legs have various muscles as well, just like the arms and the chest. You got the front part of your legs, the back part, you got your calves, calf raises, and you got the legs extension, and you got the pull over, and you got the pull up. Uh, there's several names that I can come up with. And <clears throat> they don't do it. They're not interested in it because they don't think that legs is important, that women are just going to look at the chest. Actually, there's some women who look at the legs as well. If you don't have no definition of legs, if you got an upper body that looks like a man and his legs look like a woman, <laughs> what, what kind of cow are we dealing with? <laughs> okay, I, I, I can't identify that. Movie. Then I come on to the I come on to the scene and I take his girl from him. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh Morpheus, oh you look good. You are well built. Yeah, I'm well built below, above, around, and in my life. Come ride with me, boo. Oh oh shoot! <laughs> All right. Well, so Morpheus, what's your last thoughts before I put the closing in this? Was it all that it's cracked up to be? I think we uh, touched a lot of topics here. Did you did you get anything from this? Did it answer some of your questions as well? I'm kind of questioning my. Uh, you got me a little bit on the fence now about oh. my uh, my Klugers. Oh know, well, maybe, well, you here's the thing. Maybe I should get some younger meat. You need to be aware that women today, look at it like this, they are, now they're the predators. We're the prey. Mm -hmm. You're getting better, they're getting worse. So they're looking for a plan. So they failed in their life. They're just looking for somebody who's going to pick up the slack. And you can't give them that because they didn't earn it. They didn't earn you. They didn't earn the men who they were with for 50 something damn years. So you're getting better and you marry her or you with her. You can give those years to another woman who's a lot more qualifiable for you and who can they she may be younger, but at least she has more longevity and she didn't burn up her clock like this older woman. Because there's another indication as well, psychologically. If she's fifty something years old and she couldn't tap a man down, something's wrong with her mentally. If you as a professional football player allow me to come along and beat you, even though, you know, I am a Alpha and I can do all who knows. I mean magic happens, but still who I can mm -hmm. still be happy just because he's a professional football player doesn't mean he can't lose by a regular person. Okay, let's just be real. Because I'm it's not like I'm out of shape and I'm not tall, I'm not big, nothing like that. Or I can't because I can do a lot of crazy things crazy things. But for a no let's say for a normal yeah, man, a person. Kevin Hart, but, uh, no, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Jokes. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. People are laughing, yeah, okay. <laughs> And you you a jokester too. So <laughs> if you lose compared to somebody who let's just say is not me, who don't work out, they're skinny, they're just a beta, sin. Your your trainer, your coach. Why are you looking at me that way? <laughs> your coach. Your your coach. <laughs> your coach is gonna wonder if something's wrong with you. Right? They're gonna be like, Are you sick? Are you your legs hurt? Why did this scrub off the bleachers who never played football before beat you? They got 23 points. You got one. So when a woman's 50 years old and she's not married or she's not in a full-time relationship or here's another red flag. She's been married two or three times, two or three different times. And she did not tap anybody down before she met you. Something's wrong with her. You need to go do the fact checking. And most likely you'll find that out after she start making your biscuits in the morning Making your bed, giving you some milk, all the milk, making changing, the all changing the milk. your pampers, uh, uh, putting the coat on you before you leave the door, tightening up your shoes, and brushing your teeth for you, and brushing your hair, and I don't know if I know clue. Cool walking you out to the car and say, "Baby, be good at work. I want you to do well at work." Okay. Then after a while. The months go by, she's going to start transforming to be that monster she always was. And she's going to reveal the reason why she couldn't be in a full-time relationship. She's going to reveal all the monsters in the closet. She's going to reveal all the people that she put aside. She's going to reveal all the trauma, all the dark secrets that she have done and that she have committed on men that she could not commit to or she would not give him the proper time 
the submissive, fit, productive, supportive woman that she was supposed to be. And ladies and gentlemen, that ends this lesson for the day, the Academy of Wow Men. I expect that you enjoyed yourself. I enjoyed myself too. Brian, thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having me, Morpheus. And and I enjoyed myself. And uh, maybe we'll have you again because I like this this face to face conversation. Very entertaining, and you, that was some good back and forth. That was good to hear from one of my viewers and at least answer some of your questions because that that was I didn't know that you was really gonna praise women like that, but it happens. You know, we have several men who just need to understand that you got to have standards first. You got to earn the prize to get the prize, basically. I mean, uh, I just, I love women like you so, love barbells. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, I, I love women as well, but they have to earn, they have to earn their trophies just like anybody else does. You don't give anybody prize and joy and they haven't earned it. Uh, simps give women or anybody gifts and they haven't earned it. Okay, they have to be accountable for the actions. But that's the lesson for today and more to come. Thanks for listening.